Hello, welcome back to Grifflands. I will admit to you now, despite being on this screen, I did not record these episodes back to back. Unfortunately, I... It was like it was like 6 p.m. yesterday when I recorded that episode, and then I got distracted and went and did something else, and then I went, oh, I'm out of time. So, you know, here we are. It's uh, it's early in the day. It's 1 p.m., so I'm like, I got my coffee still, fresh woken up, all of that, and I'm going to hopefully do the rest of this run, but we'll see how much I get. Other than that, uh, I'm I'm realizing now as well that I think I won't worry too much about finishing and like compartmentalizing everything into singular days because the days of each character are very different. Like day one of this man and like each each of Rook's days are longer, but there's only four of them. Whereas Sal's days are like day one's really long, and then day five is like 20 minutes, like we learned. So also as time goes on and you build out your decks more, the later days become easier just in general. I feel. But I re-familiarized with myself with the deck. It hasn't been, like, forever. It's been uh, just a few hours, really. It's been one day, but... You know, the, the the time between the first episode... The first two episodes and, like, the third episode was three days, and that was tough. So as long as I don't do that, it'll be fine. But I am going to try and knock out the rest of this run right now. Hope you are doing well today. Let's get to it, shall we? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let's see where we are. Uh, we're going to the Rise Ambush site. That's right, we're on our... We worked for Fulimo, and now we're proving ourselves to the Rise so that we can be a double agent. I do remember. And I think in this one, I'm going to side with the Rise. And I'll betray Fulimo. Is my, is my thinking, because I think you get to choose one or the other. As you're walking down the road... You hear the sounds of fighting. You look around some trees and see a member of the Rise stuck in the mud over the bog. Around him you see a couple of urchins circling their prey. Just as you're about to continue, he sees you. Yeah, I mean, I will, I will definitely save you from these weird dogs. This is not a problem. This is like, can you, there's, there's no downside. I just get to save this man. I mean, I guess I do have half health, so maybe they're really scary, but I doubt it. So these are not the enemies with Evaso. I think those are the Yokdes. These guys are the ones that re... You have to kill them many times. Unless you can do big boy damage, which we do not. Actually, with Wounding Shot... Hold on. So we can do... We can do Pulse. Apply 6 Ricochet. And with a Wounding Shot, we'll do... 6 to 7. I wonder if this applies Wound to both of them. Let's find out. It does not apply wound to both of them. Okay. Oh, this guy's half health. Go. Careful, dude. He does heal passively. I wonder if, because I know that I know that the last character is a Kradeshi. Oh. Oh god, it's a bomb. I know the last character is a Kradeshi. I wonder if he also just has this passive healing built in. We've had the wound, because if the wound applied like I had hoped it would, I would have killed this urchin here. Absolutely. Hey, I'm going to pause this recording real quick, actually, because it sounds like the game is way too loud. So I'm going to make sure that's not the case. Thank you, OBS Studio, for the pause recording feature. My life has changed. All right, sound check complete. The audio was not too... It wasn't too loud, but it was a little louder than I would have liked it. So I have adjusted accordingly. You may or may not notice a difference. What do these they do apply disease when you lose health from them, and the disease reduces max health by one until the end of the fight. Per stack, I think? Or maybe it's just one per round. I'm not sure. This deck doesn't really have anything going for it right now, so I think we just kind of work on upgrading our cards. I'm feeling. If we hit a three or four, we'll kill this one, which would be really good. Or no, we have to hit a four. We can't hit anything higher, actually. This is four to six. I mean, it's worth shot. Doesn't matter. I think he changed attacks there. Did you see that? Because he was doing one hit for seven, and then when that... I, so if you kill an enemy... Hold on, let's see if we can uh, see this here. All right, so I'll, I'll kill this guy here. We'll do bonus charge... And then we just double kick him. So, yeah, he does change his attack if you kill his target. 
How... How strange. Oh, so it is reduced by by the total equal to the number of stacks. So in this case, it is by two. Gotcha. I don't really want this combat to end right now, so I, I would prefer it if I let this guy live so I can get another hit in. So we'll hit him with the pulse. Now this is the last enemy. And there he goes again. He changed from kill to uh, stats. Fine. Strange. I guess not that crazy though. Let's do kick. I think we hit exhaustion on this round, or maybe the next. I gotta check my perks again real quick. Max XP have... Draw two extra cards at each start of each combat. One trap, one more graph slot. That does seem correct. Oh, I have wounding shot. This card, is, this card does seem pretty good, yeah. And that's the end. We did a pretty good job of gaining experience in this combat. Oh, we're not exhausted? Turn six, we're not exhausted. That's pretty sick. I also have, that's right, someone gave me sparring, plus one bonus defense on all cards that give defense, which is just insane. Just out of this world to me. And I had a run uh, I played last night, and I... The run was good, but I just didn't spend enough time doing combats. Uh, I'll keep the blast, actually. I think it's fine. I'll focus on these two. No, I just didn't do I didn't do enough combats and my deck ended up being kinda weak. So I'm going to try and balance in this game a little bit more. Right, we're not doing ration now. We got Urchin Musk. Remove composure from upon an argument. Right, I shouldn't actually take this, because this is garbage. Uh, it's a item for negotiations that takes composure off of arguments and gives dominance. It doesn't ever punish on it or anything. So check this out. Someone told me about this tech. Yo, extremely great tech. If you click on the item card. You can just get rid of it. Like, how insane is that, right? I had no idea you could do that if you took a, a garbage item. It's so nuts. Insanely good intel. A posture seems like... Posture or seer, but I'm going for... Let's see. I don't have a... I'm going for a deck that just spends its charge, and I don't really care on what. Let's go posture here. I think posture is good. I have we we can do like concentration and burn. These two seem to go hand in hand, and then and posture is just a good defense too. It's three, which isn't crazy, but three concentration, three defense seems really strong. Let's take it. And hair trigger, spend up to two charge. So this is this this is the question that I posed last time I had this card of why would you ever want to spend more charge? I now know the answer. This run wants to spend more charge, so let's take spend more charge. Because the other option there is spend one charge, deal six, instead of spend two, deal six, but yeah. I mean, also, I guess this hits multiple times, so if you're gaining power for whatever reason, which we do have power, so I guess it's better for that reason as well. Apply a ricochet through kick seems okay, but I think I ultimately end up destroying this card either way. But I'll take kickochet. Into overcharge. I'm not doing overcharge, so we'll just take bonus block. And... Four damage or three ricochet? Give me three ricochet. Yeah, I don't want to take that. Thank you, I couldn't have done that on my own. Got you, buddy. End of their turn, surrendered allies regain 10% of their max health. That is not great, but... This dude's mouth is so small. Look at how tiny his mouth is. Uh, he already loves me, so I can take... I take one of these no matter what, because he loves me baseline. So I can get $51 or... Two to four item. If the target has metallic, apply stun. Yo, this is nuts, isn't it? Doesn't this seem really good? Just single use stun metallic enemies? Metallic enemies I find to be really scary. Yeah, I'll take the shock box. I also think that if I'm going to join the rise, the spark barons are, they have a lot of robots. I feel like. You leave Galf behind inspecting your new gadget. Hell yeah, that seems great. And it's not a it's not a single use either. It just is. I'm gonna pop over to the metal shop real quick, actually. Do we know each other? Sometimes, sometimes not. Depends on how far you get each time. Hmm. Game has a little bit of a story reason that we're stuck in a weird infinite loop, I guess. I want to go in here though, and I want to buy because we have 32 metal. I want to grab. 
I want to grab skipping card drafts gives more money. I've been skipping card drafts more as I've played more, I feel. That's all. Actually, let me check the flourishes. We have 27 points. I Again, I did this with Sal last night. I think I'm just going to go through and unlock all of the baselines when I have the money for it, which I don't quite have enough for all of them, but... Yeah, let's do, uh... Let's go through and do this. I'm gonna grab all of the combat ones, at least. Spend all charge, then gain charge until you're fully charged. So, power cycle and reset are, like... If you have things that interact, you can use either one of these to clear your charge and gain full charge. Thank you. And now I can... Because I'm not playing Smith yet, I can just kind of let my... Uh, my metal or not my metal my prestige points build up and then i can buy a nut like i can just buy all of his when i play him the first time probably find the ambush spot and the rise cell that's waiting there intruder detected this guy's name is on off that's a tough name wait who's that hello Fleckfist sent me we're a bit understaffed ruggish gestures to a fellow rise member's corpse stuffed behind a bush i don't need to ask any questions Let's finish this. Finish it. Say the wrong thing and this robot just murders you, is that right? Something's not right here. Select all. This guy... Can I take this guy with me? Destroy. Drop the loot reach for the sky and why should I do that? So no matter what, she's gonna dislike me. Uh, I feel like... The combat's gonna be easier. Especially since our boy, Rugus, is promoted. He's going to be stronger. I'll take the combat. I want to, uh, you know. I want to also just make sure I'm staying on top of my battle deck. The battle deck, despite what I want to be true, the battle deck is pretty important. You can't talk your way out of boss fights, right? I guess I'll do this and get the free concentration on focus strike. That's fine. My goal here is to just maximize my experience and hope my allies don't kill this lady too quickly. Are you friendly? No, you're terrible. Deal 8 damage back to enemies one hit. Oh god. The bog does not like me today. We get to hatch our fleet egg, I guess. Egg cracks and a fleet emerges from within. Is this guy just my pet now? Is he gonna fly in here and kill himself instantly? That would be hilarious. And also tragic. By one wound per empty cell. I'm gonna start. Actually, I'm gonna play Blast here, because I wanna get this Blast finished up. I can also defend my boy. What if it really just comes in here and insta dies? That would be really sad. Why would you do that? Cobblebot on off will attack exclusively this fighter. Great news. Dude, no, stop hitting the man! I guess he's he's not countering this turn, so it's okay. But, like, what are you doing, man? Just leave it alone! Stop this madness at once. Uh, I will block. Yeah, I'll break my elusive blast. We're just all defending, huh? Another one? Another one. Do not- he's- he's do- he's killing himself! Stop it! What are you doing? I gotta- like, I gotta end the fight. He's gonna just- boy, he about to do it. I think I do end the fight if I play Brain Burn. I can end it for sure with Kikashe. But I don't want- I want to- he won't die, he's just gonna drop to three. And I'm not that worried. I just want to upgrade these cards more. Oh, hey. Our boy went first. You're free to go. I'm not going to start murdering people in the swamp. I think in this run, I'm just going to... I'm not going to murder people that's going to have consequences. Killing that lady has consequences, for sure. Blast becomes... Spend a charge deal plus two. It seems good. Spending our charge seems good, and we're going to hopefully get a card that gets a bonus for spending my charge here. By two Scorched and two Burn to an enemy. I am kind of playing Burn. Cheap Shot costs one less per empty cell. We have six cells, so this is often free. 
though. Like, Cheap Shot seems really strong. But I, I get a bonus of 10 shills. I don't know if I've, see, I've pointed this out in the YouTube. I'm, actually, I'm certain I haven't. But if you skip a card three times in a row, they offer you a bounty to take it. So if I take Accelerant now that I've skipped it three times, I'll get 10 gold as well for taking it. And this number increases. I've seen it at 4 for 15, but I haven't seen it any higher than that yet. I'm down to go Accelerant for the 10 also. I mean, it fits into our deck. If the Baron survivor is dead to rights, I surrender. Please don't kill me. We have to finish him off. It is, but it has to be done. I mean, I'm not really... Look. I... If, if he kills them, is it really my fault? Nah. Go ahead, buddy. It's done, I'll make sure the spark goes where it needs to go. That's, you know, I didn't murder her. Who's dead because of me? What the fuck is bullshit? What do you mean she's dead because of me? I didn't kill her, he killed her. What? That's, how dare you, honestly. How dare you imply that I killed that lady. That's nonsense. Copy out here. I mean, I don't understand why I would let her kill- or let him kill her then, because he killed her. And I still have her- I guess it's- I didn't get a negative for her death. Oh, also, we do get our- we get our boy Oarth. Hello, Oarth. I mean, the ambush was a success. Okay, 70 shells and one metal, and we get a graph. Gain two charge seems garbage. At the start of each negotiation, rig two heads seems pretty good to me. Pets have plus 10. I don't think that Oarth is along for this world, I'll just tell ya. And I'm going for heads anyway, so rig two heads seems good. Kalandra enters the room. It's clear she's the leader, by the way. Flexus rolls back his shoulders, trying to undo years of back-breaking labor. Her eyes lock heavily on yours. Enough with the third degree, I want to meet the turncoat. Give us room, everyone. I'll take it from here. The room empties and you're left alone with it. An eager Kalandra who turns to you with a glint in her eye. Nice to meet you face to face, Rook. I have to say that one day in the bog and you've already made some progress. I have it on good authority that Felimo is very pleased to have finally gotten you on site. Felimo often gives mixed signals, but yes, he has me on the payroll. Old friends and comrades reunited by the Threadful Labor Union, yeah. You ever meet up with your buddy from Vietnam to break a union? Yeah, me too. Went to him first as your letter proposed. Excellent cipher. Take naturally to this cloak and dagger stuff. I won't pretend to trust. Won't pretend I trust you completely. I hired you to spy after all. Mm -hmm. Flimo's so good side. Flimo thinks you're spying on me. We can't give him any indication. It's the other way around. Want you to check in with me every day for what I'm paying you. You should make time for both. Yeah, it's fine with me. So basically, Rook, we're actually we've actually been hired here by Calandra to spy on Felimo, despite going to Felimo to spy on Calandra. You see how it gets a little confusing here? Uh, mysterious gambler has been seen playing his trade in the Mog or Spar with Feldspar. I don't want to do any sparring because I think I'll get run over at the boss. I'm at 24 health and we're about to go do the boss. So let's go to the count your winnings. If I don't get a heal here, I'll just go buy a healing item probably. You see a Kradeshi trying to get the attention of the crowd. Step right up, test your luck. Disinterested workers stream past them to absorb with their own troubles. What are you selling? You startled me, nobody ever stops to talk to me, but to business, I'm offering a moment's respite from the drudgery of daily life. Test your luck with my game of chance and you might just win. I'll give him ten dollars. Alright, keep your eye on the coin. Here we go. Call it. It's uh it's definitely I'm feeling I'm feeling snails. Too bad it's heads. Fuck. Technique is good, but not great. Heads, snails, heads. You see he's flipping it each time, but I'm clicking too fast. Keep it up all day if you use your wrist properly. I don't want to make it. I just want to... I don't want any trouble. I just want to make enough money to get back to Murder Bay. So this guy will give me Krog's weighted coin if I want to trade him. Which is... Comes up heads 90% of the time. We can let him off with a warning. We can give him $50, or we can take 45 from him. If I give him 50 I think I he will love me. And I've done this before. He gives me... He is a... Do, he's a... Give me $20 off guy. So, giving him money on day one seems really good. 
the weighted coin is kind of tempting, but the weighted coin will override our marsh coin. So I'm kind of losing the value I'm getting from uh, extra composure to get 90% heads, right? I think I'll just give him the 50. Because I'll get, uh, if you buy three things, you get your money back and then some, which is nuts. And then he leaves. I mean, this this boon is just insane. I feel like this boon is so good. Gain $20, $20 off all your purchases. I think also with that, I can still buy an item. I think a healing item is 50. Oh, hello. Have you been to the deep bog? Hello? Have you been to the deep bog? Uh, no, I have not. Ooh, you're already standing there. What? You just can't see what's in front of your face, but you'll see it soon enough. Excuse me? <laughs> what? She rolled up and she gave us a deep bog secret? Hatch 5? Okay. Goodbye, I guess. Well, let's go, uh, eat something, I suppose. I can buy a meal. The discount did make this still buyable. I'm gonna play it safe and just drop the 30 on this. I don't think it's a bad call. Heat up, get 30 HP. We'll be bloated in our next combat, but that's fine. I think better safe than sorry is my feeling. Hello, Feldspar. I don't remember what I did for that guy, but hello. Alright, let's go to the dead drop. Leave a report of your Grout Bog activities in the Dead Drop location. You arrive at the Dead Drop. It's much like all the others around Havaria, empty but full of anticipation. Jot down a few notes about the rise in the Spark Baron, shove the wax envelope into a sealed canister. If you were any less experienced, you wouldn't notice the sudden silence as someone approaches you. Hello, Threequa. This is a new enemy. I have not seen this man before. A well-worn trail if you know how to find it. Should have watched your back more carefully, Rook. You made two enemies to just fade away quietly. It includes you. You seemed happy enough when I was paying you for Rentorian secrets. Mm. It's the problem, isn't it? You have too good a memory. Someone needs to wipe it clean. Look at you. Bum leg. No pension. No friends. Dude, no pension? Uh, maybe you should let me put you down. First, I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. First, I will obliterate you with facts and logic, and then I will obliterate you with bullets. It's a one-two combo. <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, yes, good argument. What's your name? Orth? Your name's Orth. What does he do? When Threequa's arguments are destroyed, splash damage is converted, in converted into composure instead. Ah. Destroyed gives Threequa one impatience. Threequa will obtain defect when you enter battle. Uh, so for every time, every fear we break, and I guess that these uh, will get more. We'll probably get more options, but I think this is for every fear we break, we get one free, uh, like, is it double damage? Yeah, okay. Next attack on this fighter does double damage. First of all, we're going to take his name. Although Dogged is prepared here. That does seem good. And then my Grunt will be prepared if I play Dogged first. And it's like... It's weird though because it's 2 to 6. I definitely want to play Blacklist on this guy. There's no doubt about that. Think about it for a sec. Uh, this does 4 to 4. I think we do... Dogged on him. We prepare Head Turner. And then this will be free. Push four more. And then we go ahead and blacklist them. Once I have extra energy, that card will become better. The two energy. Like, one, one, after this combat, basically, that becomes better. And we don't have to worry about spending our resolve HP. It goes away here. Or rather, we'll heal here. It doesn't go away. But we'll, like, this is the end of the day. This is the final combat. I think. Heads gain an influence, rig a heads, deal max. We got seven coming our way because of our... Oh, because he has impatience. Yeah, yeah. I guess let's rig a heads. I, I already had the heads rigged, so I didn't need to do it that way, I suppose. Yeah. But I'll just flip twice. That was unfortunate. <laughs> uh, this will do four. This will do three. 
have an influence as well. I guess I do, let's do Jabber. And then we can just hit agency on it. There's only two targets. Oh, what? First of all, that rolled a three. I didn't think about that happening, but this hits, this does not, this target, this can target the same argument twice. I, random, hit an enemy randomly twice is a really weird mechanic in this game. Cause it acts differently every time I feel like. Put yelling. Era card. Hmm. What's he doing? Do any of these just block for me? None of these just block for me, so I guess we'll draw two. Hmm. This deck does seem to have a problem of not actually... Uh... Of actually having any block. I'm just gonna kill him. Not gonna mess around. Although I probably should have. I should have messed around a little more, actually. That's okay, though. I'll skip this. Agency, burn, helmet. Eh. I think I've seen all of these before. Burn, I think, might be the only one we haven't seen. Two damage hostility on snails that hits every argument. Eh. Agency we already have, and helmet I've already said no to. Although I am kind of moving towards prepare. Maybe this isn't bad. And I don't have it. You know, give me helmet. Let's give it a try. Use the rest. Might recall that time in Palketti when you swore you'd never look at Flayed Oshinu the same again. I can do that to your insides. What? It's just me and your trigger finger, and I know which one of us is faster. Are you sure about that? What's this guy going to do to us? Gain 6 defense and lose 3 power at the end of every turn. Lose 3 power when all of his... De oh, gain 6 defense and 3 power at the end of every turn. Lose 3 power when defense is broken. He only got one stack of defect, and he also gains two defense passively. First time he takes damage. Oh, he's just gonna lose a bunch of power, right? Can power go negative, you think? Let's find out, shall we? I have to make sure that my man Fleed Orth doesn't die. Let's give him four block, I guess. I'm gonna lose concentration. No, I have five passively. That's right. So I passively block his hit. I gotta make sure where Olarth does not run. We'll go Blast and then Wounding Shot. No, Focus Strike here, right? Mm. Wounding Shot seems good. Put up seven wounds. He should lose. Does he go ne So power doesn't go negative. Gotcha. Lesson learned. I wish it would tell me when he's blocking. It just tells me that he's doing something, but I don't know what it is that he's doing. If I had known he was blocking there, I wouldn't have given him anything, right? But, ah, what can you do, I suppose? I need to remove this card. Crank is just usually a negative if I play it, right? Play Accelerant. I'll take damage in order to play Accelerant here. And we'll take one. No, I guess not. I guess Crank would, Crank puts me to nine. But then it's, this is plus one block, basically, for two charge. I should hold Crank, because we might reach a point where uh, gaining charge becomes important. But right now, I can't spend my charge fast enough. Uh, I guess I play for XP here, right? I don't. He's not attacking. I can just take this turn, play the Bog Secret, play a block. It's a little greedy, though. I mean, it is very greedy. I will admit. I should definitely break his block, actually, because he's gaining a bunch of power otherwise, right? Because he's gonna gain three more power, and then I will only be able to block, break his block once. Yeah. It's way too greedy if I don't go there. I one burn for concentration. Can I spend all my charge? No. But we'll do three burn on him. Brain burn seems to be getting a little better, which is exciting. I am going to play Blast Hunker Down, because these are both close to being upgraded. I mean, Hunker Down is upgraded if I do that. I'm kind of farming him here, but I think it's really important to farm enemies. I have a wound for empty so You see, this is where I could use a card that just spends all my wound. This guy's countering. Or sp spends all my charge, I mean. We'll just block. It's fine. 
I should also flourish this man in this combat. I should definitely flourish him. Uh, sitting on it doesn't make any sense. But, like, I don't need to. This is the problem. I don't need to. I haven't taken any damage, and my, he's almost dead. In no universe do I lose this fight. So, yeah. Y'all do not, do not make Oarth flee. You will pay. What is this? It's gain two concentration, draw, gain two charge, spend a charge, spend a charge, draw two. I'll take deep breath, I guess. Five and six is eleven. I'm fleeing by just a little. I can throw a hunker down his way. I'm not exhausted yet, so delay. Look, if if Oarth flees, it's not the end of the world. I'll be a little sad, but it's not the end of the world. I also don't think he's gonna flee here. So much time for for experience. What the hell? I'm not exhausted yet. It's crazy. We put Eat Burn with Brain Burn now. Uh, I'll just play my three cards that are not upgraded and we'll win the combat. I'm assuming at this point he's going to... Or we should become exhausted here. Oh, he, he gives a Manipulation. Gamble on Heads 5 Influence on Snails 4 Dominance. This card isn't that good. I do, like... I want to spare the bosses, because if you spare the bosses, you can get their boon. I imagine, not certain, but I imagine if I let this guy go, I get a cool boon. And this war story doesn't help our deck much. Like, this doesn't help our game plan a lot. So let's try to spare him, and maybe we can hunt him down in the world and give him money. You're allowed to go. Huh. New two perks for Breton 3-qua. I will not upgrade this ration now. You can't make me. Hunker down is the only one that got an upgrade. Gain a charge. I'm having trouble spending charge, so I'll just take up to five here. Our defenses seem pretty good with these boosted hunker downs. And that, the battle deck doesn't seem bad to me right now. Garbage day. Mm -mm. I like Fan the Hammer. Like I said, I'm having trouble spending charge. Fan the Hammer... It's going to do four. I'm not going to have much overcharge, most likely. But if this does, like, four times six, right? This card's pretty good. What does it go to? Gain one overcharge for each charge? That seems pretty good. I'll go for Fan the Hammer. Garbage Day isn't bad, also, though. But we'll go Fan the Hammer. All right. I do not... What is it? Oh, pick a negotiation card. My bad. Good thing it popped that up. I thought that was I thought this was the upgrade. Spend all influence applied to composure per influence spent to all friendly arguments. That'd be pretty cool if I had uh yeah, this would be cool if I had the influence for it. Uh gamble, heads, remove composure, snails, steal composure. Eh. Enemy arguments don't seem to have composure all that often, so cards that interact specifically with composure don't seem great. Discard this card, deal three to a random target. I will skip that all. There you have it. Seems very little has changed, but what am I to do with you now? Nothing. I'll leave the way I came. The bog will cover my tracks behind me. Nobody has to know I was here, and I won't mention you to anyone. Sounds good to me. Uh... I think that of these three, I'm play I'm not playing hostility, I'm playing diplomacy, so the red is going to crush me. I don't like uh making two people hate me and taking two negatives, and I don't think that taking two damage at the end of your turn is that big of a deal. We just put up two composure pretty consistently. Hopefully. And so I'm going to go with the Janglers. I think that this is like the take two damage and the take three damage negotiation and battle crafts. I don't think that they're very bad. Uh, yeah. Tell me about... Sure, I'll get a little war. How'd you find me? Well, Cuba. How did you know I was here? You were only a shadow on the Rentorian side of the border. Once you came back, you were followed by paperwork. Same that the Admiralty cut you loose after all you did for them. So it goes. Took a while to figure out who you were working for now, but once I did, they sure like to get their reports, don't they? Who are they? Oh, we don't know who... I, I don't know who Rook is working for, actually, here. 
You're good to go. Next time you come wondering what I'm up to, remember the usual rewards that await a curious cat. I'm gonna, I'm, I will murder you, you weirdo. See you never, you can be sure of that. No, I want to see you again so I can get your boon. I wish to see you again. So 35 minutes in, I'm not going to end this episode here. I'm just going to go, and if we, if I end up ending halfway through the next day, that's fine as well. I'm not going to end this episode at 35 minutes, I don't feel like. Uh, maybe, maybe I will. We'll see how I feel about it. Uh... Actually, uh, instead of ending here, let's go open up the black market. Because I'll have to do this eventually anyway. You approach the market, but an armed guard steps out of the shadows to cut you off. Establishment is members only. I can mention a friend who's a member? Oh. Krog. Good friend of mine, Krog, told me about this place. I believe he's a member. I mentioned something about a referral. You know... I actually think it's better to do the combat there. I, I I do not feel like just let me in is the right option because I'd rather do the combat and get to farm a little more experience on my grafts and on my parts, right? Interesting. So we got Pulk at the Swab and we got Brash. Brash has... Rook only has one uh, vendor here that sells all the cards. Obviously, I can't afford any of this. And then we also, of course, have Plaka the Swab. Who isn't surprised about Plaka the Swab? I think she's always in uh, uh, every every run. Okay. Well, that was faster than I expected, because I can just walk up and say, hey, let me in. Alright, let's return. I... I think I will end the episode here, actually. I said I wasn't going to, but like, 40 minutes is plenty of time for an episode. I, th these runs don't all have to be an hour. I think this is a good time. So that's, that's it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Back tomorrow with day two. Hopefully you've been enjoying Griftlands. I've been having a great time playing it. Uh, don't forget to like if you liked. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.